Let's say we have a beam, a simply supported beam, and let's call it AB. The length of the beam is L, and there is an external load acting at a distance of L over 2 from point A. Now we know that the loading on this beam is symmetric, so RAY and RBY will be equal to each other and will be equal to P over 2 and RAX will be equal to zero, and there are no forces acting in the horizontal direction. Now, if I if I cut a section through this beam, as as called a section 1, 1, and it is at a distance of L over 4 from point A. So, we, now we have two segments, and let's take, for now, let's take this segment, consider the right for segment, the left for segment, and we have point A, the support reactions are AY equals to P over 2, RAX equals to 0, and this distance as L over 4. Now, if I want this beam to remain in equilibrium, it must satisfy the equations of equilibrium. It must satisfy the equations of equilibrium. In the same way, if this segment wants to remain in equilibrium, it must also satisfy the equations of equilibrium. And we know the equations of equilibrium are summation of f of x, summation of f of y, and summation of moment about any point, let's say, point section 1, 1 equals to 0. Now we know that there would be an internal force acting in the horizontal direction, which would prevent the translation of the segment in the horizontal axis and it is denoted by n and is known as the normal force and we would have a shear force acting we would have a force which would be acting in the vertical direction to prevent a relative translation in the y axis and is denoted by v and is known as the shear force which acts parallel to the cross section and we would have a moment which would prevent rotation for the segment now if we apply if we apply the first equation of equilibrium and take right for forces as positive we have RAX plus N equal to zero. As we know RAX equals to zero, so N equals to zero. Applying the second equation of equilibrium, summation of F of Y equals zero, and taking upward forces as positive. Now we have R A Y, R A Y acting in the upward direction, so positive, and V minus V acting in the downward direction. So R A Y equals to V, V equals to R A Y, R A Y equals to P over 2, acting in the downward direction. And the last equation of equilibrium, so make, summing up all the moments about section 1, 1 equals to 0, and taking anticlockwise moments as positive, we have the anticlockwise moment, of course, M plus, um, and we have R A Y, and we know moment is mom force into distance, and this is an L upon force, so R A Y is producing a clockwise moment about section one one R A Y equals to L over four equals zero M equals to we know R A Y equals to P over two L over four M equals to P L divided by A. And the direction is anticlockwise. This is how we find internal forces in a beam. Now, let's talk about the sign convention. The way I do it is really simple. Whenever, let's say we have a beam, and whenever I cut a section through a beam, then if I take the left segment, if I take the left segment, then what I would do is I would take the shear force in the downward direction, normal force to the to the right, and the moment as anticlockwise. And if I, for some reason, am taking the rightward segment, then I would take the shear force in the upward direction, normal force to the left, and moment as clockwise. If you think you might forget about it, then you could think of it in this way that if a normal force if a normal force produces tension in a segment 
then it would be positive. If it produces tension in the segment, then it would be positive. And if the shear force the shear force produces a clockwise couple. A clockwise couple it would be considered as positive. Like in this one, if we have a segment and we have the shear force and the shear force is producing a clockwise couple moment. It's rotating, it's trying to rotate the segment in a clockwise direction. So hence we take shear force as positive. And if the moment produces sagging in the beam, it's this kind of a shape. If it produces sagging, then we would consider moment as positive. Now just look at it. If I cut a section through the through this beam, and now we have this moment acting on the on the very left, on the very left, and if I cut a section, then this moment, in order to balance this segment, must act in the anticlockwise direction. So if I take the left first segment, I take the moment as anticlockwise, and if I take the right first segment, I would have to take the moment as clockwise. Same here, anticlockwise and clockwise. And the same goes for shear forces. If I have this segment and if I cut this section, now if I take the left segment, if I take the left segment, in order to balance it, in order to maintain equilibrium of this of this segment, now this shear force must act in the downward direction. So that's the left part. If I've taken the left for segment, I've taken the left for segment, shear force down, shear force down, it's producing a clockwise moment, hence positive. This is how we do it. This is how we take shear forces. This is how we use sign convention when we're solving for internal forces. And the same goes for the right for segment. It was acting in the downward direction, so it must act in the upper direction. If I take the if I take the right of a segment, I would take the shear force as in the upper direction. And the same goes with the normal forces. So this is how we deter this is how we use sign convention when we're solving for internal forces. I hope everything was clear and if you have some issues regarding it then please do comment below and thank you for watching the video.